Got a leaking water meter. Water's already secured. Hopefully drained. Gonna swap this out first thing this morning. Checking for leaks, bottom looks good, top looks good. We got a company coming out to clean all this mold off the wall. This one's done. that a shot glass broke in the disposal. Those are usually the worst because the glass is so thick and these one third horsepower. Garbage disposals don't do a great job of chopping up the glass. The All the breakers have been, all of the breakers have been flipped. We still got nothing, no light, nothing. I'm gonna replace this GFCI. It's hooked up right. We've got our line coming in on the bottom and this is the load for additional receptacles if we wanted to piggyback off it. Want to make sure we hook up the incoming voltage to the line side. Usually you leave this alone unless you're piggybacking. Longer ones always going to be neutral, shorter ones always going to be hot. In the United States anyway, no idea about other countries.
something in there. It's like a treasure hunt. You never know what you're gonna pull out of these. Let's try it now. Clear now. I don't know why so many apartment complexes use fridges with dispensable ice and water. It'd be fine if they would account for it in the budget, but that's often not the case for the replacement filters. That button feels like it's not engaging the start button. Here's an older, here's one. This is the same unit. It's in a, it's in an electrical closet. Nobody put what was wrong with it. So I'm hitting this button and that just feels right. So I'm going with my instinct here. not hitting the switch. Make sure all those clip in. Switch is just stuck. I can't push it manually.
now it's unstuck. Probably could have fixed this with just a little bit of WD-40. Hear that? Good as new. I'll probably put this on the shelf. Those washers suck so bad. Whirlpool front load, this model, they made a ton of these. And if you run a regular cycle, when it goes into spin, it'd just do like a weak spin. It'd never go into overdrive. What I showed the tenant right there was how to kind of bypass that. Or once the cycle is done, you just go into diagnostic mode, um, clean washer, Shut the door, go to clean washer, hit the start button four times, and then you can advance it to number two, and then it'll go into drain and high speed. It will at least kind of wring out the clothes. So I showed him how to do that until we can either get another control board, which go for about 500 bucks new. I've seen them as low as 100 refurbished. Or maybe someone can tell me how to fix these boards. So we're not spending $1,200 or more on a new washer or $500 on a new board that's gonna take three months to arrive. Hit me up. As always, thank you so much for hanging out with me today, knocking out some work orders. I'm gonna be back at it tomorrow. Hopefully can make another vlog, but until the next vlog, I am Dave, the Apartment Maintenance Pro. Hope to see you there.